In the dense forest, beneath the protective canopy of a mighty elm tree, lived the gnome family. They structured their daily lives according to the four seasons, just as their ancestors had taught them. Spring, summer, autumn, and winter. The gnomes cherished each season for its unique beauty and celebrated the changing seasons with great joy alongside the other inhabitants of the forest. A colorful seasonal table was always the centerpiece of their festivities. In the autumn, it was adorned with shiny chestnuts, golden acorns, red maple leaves, and fresh apples. Every gnome child eagerly helped with the gathering and decorating. The trees around them gradually transformed into a living color palette. The lush green leaves turned into vibrant yellows, while some trees proudly displayed their leaves in rich red hues. Soon, they would all wither into a warm brown and blanket the ground. As autumn rain showers and storms arrived, the leaves gradually let go and gently covered the forest floor. This was the sign that winter was approaching. Before the onset of autumn, the gnomes were busy with various tasks. They gathered forest berries to process them into juices and preserves for the winter. The delicious mushrooms were sought, dried, and safely stored. The gnome children picked the last delicate flowers in the forest meadows and pressed them between wooden discs to save for the upcoming lantern festival eagerly anticipated by the children. The days grew shorter, and the family often gathered by candlelight in the afternoon, enjoying scented pastries around a big table. They knitted, sewed, crocheted, and crafted together, amassing a colorful collection of hats, scarves, gloves, and socks. During this time, the children also crafted their lanterns. Each gnome child tried to make their lantern especially pretty with dried flowers and leaves. Once they were done, they attached the lanterns to sticks and lit candles inside. Finally, the day of the lantern procession had arrived. The gnome children could already see from a distance how other forest creatures were gathering with their radiant lights and lanterns. Quickly, they donned their colorful coats and waited for their parents to light the lanterns. Cheerfully and excitedly, they marched through the forest together. Some sang lantern songs, and the entire path shone brightly. An owl, just awakening from its slumber, asked in amazement, where did all these fireflies suddenly come from? The other forest residents laughed and looked up at the owl. Dear owl, today is the lantern procession, did you forget? Just accompany us and we'll light your way. The procession continued and more and more beings with their lanterns joined in. A sea of glowing lights traversed the forest. At the forest's edge, they discovered a large fire that had been kindled by the elder gnomes. Everyone gathered around the warming fire and sang lantern songs together. The gnome children swung their lanterns in time with the music. As the fire slowly went out and the first lanterns extinguished, a delicious scent filled the air. An old badger lady and the gnome mothers passed around a basket of freshly baked yeast geese. Wow, these are the best yeast geese I've ever eaten, said a young fox contentedly, and the other forest residents agreed. Suddenly, everyone requested the recipe. The badger lady promised to write it down for everyone. The gnome children, experiencing the lantern festival for the first time, were now tired but happy. The older gnomes knew that winter would soon arrive, and the cycle of the seasons would repeat itself. <laughs>